I should start off by saying that you will all be very pleased to know that I am wearing pants. For the last two years, I have started all of my presentations with this statement. I've said we live in the healthiest, safest, and most prosperous time in human history. And up until three months ago, that was very, very true. So where are we now suddenly? Every futurist, every person who spoke about the world and technology and where we might be going did not see this coming. But here we are, and suddenly we're faced with the greatest uncertainty that anybody alive has ever had to deal with, has ever experienced. There are three certainties. The first is that the world is going to be different. There is going to be a new reality. And we've got to start thinking about that on a day, taking it day by day. The second certainty is that humanity will survive. And the third certainty is that whatever that different world looks like, it is technology that is going to facilitate that different world. That is what humans do. We seek to we strive to understand the world around us and the universe more broadly. But we've gone from that transformation, which seemed very rapid, to suddenly a time of hyper-transformation. And, and that's where we are now. And it is hyper-transformation brought about not because of technology, not because of our own desire to change and do things, but an, a completely external factor. It would seem the universe hates all of us. We're all in this massive storm. It has become a problem of humanity, not just our little isolated corner of the world. It's presented us with a unique opportunity because all the things that we were thinking about maybe trying, but we're concerned about the risk or concerned about the cost has suddenly been forced upon us. And maybe it is a time for us to remake ourselves. An opportunity to go, how do we approach the future in a different way? The advantage we have is that however we choose to remake ourselves, we have the technology to facilitate that drive into the future. So the first technology that has been thrust upon us is remote. Not just remote work, but remote everything. Then we have voice computing. With our voice, we will engage and start to make more and more, and more important decisions as time goes on. Underpinning all of this is artificial intelligence, machine learning, machines that become smarter and smarter and more intelligent we are going through a period of prolonged transition. We were going through this period of transition before the current situation, and now we're into that hyper-transformation. But we cannot forget that ultimately the story of technology, the story of all of this is not about the technology. It is a human story. Because honestly, now more than ever, there has never been a greater time to do great things. And that is me. That is the new normal.